Uh, let's talk a little bit about some PowerPoint stuff. Most folks know that I really kind of like PowerPoint. And I'm just going to lay out a couple of things here real quick and let you know. Okay. I also recommend templates a lot. Places like Presenter Media and some of the video templates from folks. Uh, one of the ones I kind of like are from LaVideo. LaVideo is actually on an early bird thing right now. And I'm going to show you a couple of things real quick. There's all kinds of bonuses and stuff, including I'm going to be doing a couple of live workshops on how to use PowerPoint video templates in general. Specifically, these LaVideo templates, but <laughs> I do like the templates. What I hate is that none of them are really designed to be good videos necessarily. Let me give you just a quick example here. If you check these out, what you'll find is that, first of all, click and replace and instantly make professional videos. Instantly create kick-ass animated videos in minutes. Probably not going to happen for most people. Professional being the key word here. And it's not to like put, the, put them down or anything like that. It's just the sad reality. There's going to be a lot of people making all kinds of crappy videos and stuff. That being said, there are tons of awesome things in here in these template packs. And LaVideo, the guy Ilum Zolkurian, is one of my favorites because he does some very innovative stuff. Okay, so again, I'm not really going to get into it too much. When you start looking at some of these templates, there's actually a lot of good graphics templates and stuff. I mentioned that I use PowerPoint to make graphics all the time. Yeah, some of these are pretty, uh, pretty sweet to use as templates. There's some good intros and branding stuff. And oh, I mean, just all kinds of goodies for stupid cheap prices. Let me uh, show you just one of the reasons why I don't like these as they stand for video content. I'll go ahead and let this thing play just a little bit. And I love the animations. I love the graphics that come with it. But here's the problem. If you try to like view this text and make sense of it in a video presentation, this is worthless, all this text. But I do like the content bubble, perhaps, and the icons and all the animations. So there's some tips and tricks and stuff we can do to leverage this and its nice design elements. But this looks like it should be delivered in front of a, a corporate meeting or something like that. And by the way, if you're making videos that are going to be viewable on mobile devices, that's never going to cut it. But there are a lot of great animations and stuff like that. Here's one that I kind of like. They're called transitions, of course. And these work great in PowerPoint between slides. But let me show you a little trick here. We can actually also use these in Camtasia. So here, uh, I'm actually going to start this from scratch. I'll go ahead and navigate to some of the templates. These are called transitions. Okay. So you'll notice there are just a few of them here. I'll go ahead and open up uh, the first one. So here's basically a step-by-step -step on how I would use such a thing in Camtasia. So this is what the template looks like. If we go to animations, we'll preview it. And yeah, I mean, it's, it's sweet. <laughs> it's kind of nice. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click here and I'm going to duplicate this slide just to kind of keep a backup. I'll go ahead and hide that for now. Okay. So, but on this one, I'm going to right click on the background, say format background. And most of you probably know this trick. I'm going to change the color. And I usually go to more colors and pick me a really bright, hideous green because we're going to green screen this thing. Now, if I preview this animation again, what you'll see is that, oh, it ends up being a blue color. Well, that's this animation right here. I think I'm also going to change that, 
and here I can use my recent colors. So I'm going to change that also. Okay, now I'm just going to go to File, Export, and Create a Video. This transition is only two seconds long, the slide animation, so I don't have to worry about any of, of this. I'm just going to export it as a video. Okay, and we'll give it a name, uh, transition, and save it as a video clip. Right? So I basically already did that as a test, and I'll show you how to use it. So let me set this up. Let's find us a couple of video clips kind of together. Something I want to transition in between. Here we go. So let me set this up for you. So I have two clips. And what I might want to do is transition with that cool effect from this clip to this clip. So I'll go ahead and import that video that we just saved out of PowerPoint. And then we'll find it. Okay, it's right here. And I'm going to drop that on top of these two clips right here. All right? So let's make this just a little bigger. And I'm just going to kind of position it uh, so that, again, it is over top of both of these. And we'll tweak it in in just a sec. First thing I need to do, however, is click on it. And we need to go to the more tab and visual properties and we're going to remove the green. So we'll remove a color. I always use the eyedropper and select that color. Okay, so now all of the green that we have in our source video here is basically keyed out. And then let's just kind of scrub through here and see how that worked for us. So here we got these guys and oh here comes this thing and you'll notice uh, that it's let's see it's a little too soon or a little late so I want to scooch this over and at this point I'll just kind of scrub because what I want to have happen is at a certain point see how the transition covers the entire screen that's the general area where I want it to be right in between uh, this, these two clips. So maybe we'll push it back just a little bit. Okay, because now what the next clip is going to be revealed. So that works kind of well, right? But here's what we're going to see. So I got kind of got my timing dialed in a little bit, and it's a neat effect, right? But right here, Right? It's still a little greenish. So what I'll generally do is find that part, you know, where uh, I wish this wasn't uh, quite as green, and I need to kind of start messing with the tolerance here. And watch what happens. See, now I'm just kind of wiggle her around, and that's going to look uh, a little bit better. So in essence, I'll try this. Here comes my cool effect. Yeah, I might even use it a little bit more. Let's tweak it. Okay, and see how nice that is? <laughs> so this is a way I can leverage some of the template stuff. Yeah, and that's not too bad. To start off with, it's a little greenish, but you know, it's not distracting. It's only going to last like a fraction of a second. But boom. I think that looks great, Lon. Do you want it? Um, only if you're giving it away for free. I am. <laughs> so here's what I would do is I would create some, you know, create what I just created here, and I might even trim this. See, I don't need all this extra stuff on the end of this clip because, you know, the transition is kind of over. So I might trim it like that and then right click on it and add it to my library. Okay, well I've already done that and here is the link that you guys can just download this. And then I'll show you oh, how to import nice. it. But I, I just want to make people aware that there's lots of ways to leverage a lot of these templates and stuff, right? You just gotta know a couple of little tricks and stuff. 
Um, so you can go ahead and download that one to kind of get you going and to start playing with stuff because some of them are pretty cool. Let me see what else was I going to say about that. Oh, to actually use it then uh, or get it, the link I gave you is what's called the libzip file. All you should know how to do this. You just uh, save it to your hard drive and then you import zipped library. Okay and find it on your hard disk so it'll look something like this if you're showing it your icons that's a zip file and it's just gonna boom open it up into your library and at that point you can move it into a folder if you want by dragging it or you can rename it if you want whatever you want to do there and then do just like I did now I'm kinda curious to see I actually tweaked the one for color that I used in my library. So this is the one I kind of did from scratch. Let me see if the library one, yeah I didn't trim the end but I'm curious to see if it still is tweaked for color. Let's look at the properties. Visual properties. And yeah so I do, I the changes for that I made and let me see if we might you might want to dial it in. Uh, see, I would dial that in maybe just a little bit more. That's probably more in the game. But when you do stuff like that, you got to be aware and you got to step through really slowly and make sure that your like edges and stuff here don't get squirrely or, you know, um, bleeding out. Let's see if I can make that happen, actually. Yeah, so... It actually does a pretty good job uh, because the contrast is so stark. But that's how you play with it and just make sure it looks good and you'll be good to go. Alrighty. So that's some of the template stuff you can do. I also want to give you a couple of other resources. What you also might want to do is go to my Facebook page for PowerPoint video and like it and follow it and visit it once in a while. The webinars that I talked about on how to use templates like live video templates, I'm just gonna post a, a registration link here on this public page. So yeah, it's a bonus of mine, but hey, I'm just gonna teach people how to make better videos with these PowerPoint templates.